that the uh, Rebbe Kiva wanted to say that there's a shlishi by chulin. In other, normally, normally uh, there's a sheni only by chulin, and the sheni by chulin could pass on truma, can make a shlishi by truma, and the shlishi by truma can make a revi by kaidish. And uh, that's that, that, I was talking about it. How do we know shlishi? I don't know revi. That, that's what we were going to about yesterday. Now, but the Gemara comes to the, the conclusion that there's no shlishi bakun. Not like Rebbe Kiva said, that, that we don't hold that the bakun, it only goes for shani. So now the Gemara is going to bring a few, pe- a few people, a few people to annoy him that they all agree, that they all hold that there's no shlishi by Bachun. That, that's the Gemara we're starting now. So Gemara says, it's, um, it's five lines from the top. Omar Ravasi. See over there? Yeah. Omar Ravasi. Omar Rav. Ravasi said the name of Rav. But Amri go, Rav Ba'isi. Omar Rav. And some said that Rabbi Ba'isi was the one who said it in the name of Rabbi. What did he say? He said as follows. That Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Yaisi and Rabbi Yeshua and Rabbi El-Ozo and Rabbi Eliezer Kula Svira Lehu they all hold Rishan The Ein Shani Oysa Shlishi The Ein Shani There's no such thing as a Shlishi Bachun the Rabbi Kiva wanted to say that from 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 Kolosh Yibo Boteicha Yitama that it can make a Shlishi. So they all are of the opinion that there's no Shlishi by Yichud. Now, the question is, how do we know it, or where do we see it? So the Gemara is going to bring sources now to each one of these people that we mentioned. Rabbi Meir, how do we know Rabbi Meir? The Snob we learned. That means that this is the Adinim that the Chachamim made Chumris. Uh, if you remember in, in Shabbos, in the first Perik, this was called the Yud Ches Dover. That, they were, that the Chachamim were Machma that even though the person is Torah, still he has to go into the mikveh before he can eat truma. Not chulun, but before he can eat truma, they, they were marshal. One of the things is, Rashi brings over here, if someone titled himself in Mayim Shuvim, so what's the problem? The problem is that people will say, just like the mikveh is matar, this is also matar. So the Racham said, if you do that, you have to go to the mikveh. Oh, Moshe, you're dying. We say that you're dying, Moscone, you're saying, even though you, you don't know of any contact with anything that wasn't proper. So you, 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 these people need, that's a touch. That's a touch of the words. Kol haton bi asmayim. That means whoever needs mikveh, midrabon, midir asafram. Metame, he could be metame asakaydish. In other words, upaiso as a truma. That what's mean paiso as a truma? He'll make truma shlishi. Because when when we have the term paiso, it means that the truma is there and doesn't doesn't go further. Umuta bechulin uba ma'isa, and his muta in chulin and a ma'isa sheni. So you see over here, you say his muta bechulin. That means if he touches chulin, it wouldn't affect it anyway because it doesn't go because he. He, he's, he's a shani with Rabbanan. Divir of Meir. That's a person who is a trillion. Rachamim, Rachamim, Oysen, Nimaisa. The Rachamim, there's a Machaikis between the Rachamim and Rameya regarding the, the, the Maisa we're talking about is Maisa Shani. The Maisa Shani that you have to bring to Yerushalayim and you have to eat it in Yerushalayim. So the, the, the Rachamim hold that he's not allowed to touch Maisa. Uh, 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 no, uh, no, I'm sorry. Rameya holds that he's not allowed to touch Maisa till he tables. 
And the Chachamim hold that touch is allowed, but it's not allowed, it's allowed to eat the Maisa. So the, the Mechakis is not if Maisa becomes Tomei Benagiyah. That it doesn't, of course, it has the same din as Chulun, Maisa Shani. So, but you see from here that he says clearly that he doesn't affect Chulun. He affects Truma. So what does he affect Truma? He makes Truma a Shlishi. And it's Chulun he doesn't affect it because there's no such thing as a Shlishi. So that's one case. Rabbi Yaisi, where do we know Rabbi Yaisi? He says, Ha, the Amran, we said before, yesterday when we were going, that how do we know Raviva Kaidish? We met for Kavachoyma from Truma. So he says, the Im Isa, if you hold that as a Shlishi by Kulin, so they said, Ravi, the Truma, Vachamishi, the Kaidish. He says, hey, how do we make the Kavachoyma? We say, we make it a Kavachoyma. What do we say? We say, Truma is, I mean, Kulin is not so holy. Truma is more holy. And Chul, and Kaidish is more holy. So we say, if you say that there's uh, a Shani by Chulun, so Bamego is a Kavachayma that there's a Shlishi by Truma, a Kavachayma that there's a Ravi by Kaidish. Now, if you hold that by Chulun there's a Shlishi, so then the Kavachayma should go this way. That if there's a Shlishi by Chulun, then there's a Ravi by Truma, and then there's a Ravi by Kaidish. He doesn't say that. He gives it how you know that there's a Raviva, not a Chamishi. So that's the Gemara says of him. Rav Yaisi, how do we know Rav Yaisi? Hadam Maru, we said before. What, what, what is, that, that's the Rav Yaisi from, from before. But how do, so how do we know what he says? Because the Imbi Isa is, I would say, Raisi Raviva Betruma, the Chamishi Vakaydish. Why doesn't he do it? Because Chulun only goes to Shani. If Chulun goes to Shani, so then Truma goes to Shlishi and Revi. And Kaidish goes to Revi. Not a okay. And Rabbi Yeshua. Where do we know Rabbi Yeshua? Excuse me a minute. Oh, yeah. me a this nun, Rabbi Gaza Aymer. Now, normally, before we, before we start, let me just explain a, a minute of it. Normally, Tuma goes in levels. Like one, one level goes to the next level. So, the Moshe, if something was a Rishan, if it touches it, it becomes a Shani. If a Shani touches it, if it's Tuma, it becomes a Shlishi. There is a din also, what's the din if someone ate something that was Tuma? So now, now look inside. So Rebbe Lezer says, if someone ate a Rishan, a Rishan is something they got tummy from the Sheriff. He, he becomes a Rishan. He doesn't step down. He doesn't step down. Because he has the Rishan in him. Right. And Shani, if he ate something that was a Shani, he becomes a Shani. a Shani. And if he ate something that was a Shlishi, a he becomes a Shlishi. Rabbi Yeshua, I mean, Rabbi Yeshua says, no, he doesn't agree to this to this schedule, so to say. He says as follows. If someone ate a Rishan or a Shani, so he becomes a Shani. In other words, the first one said that if, if he Rishan, he becomes a Rishan. Shani becomes a Shani. He says both he, he said, Shani. Both of them, so he the becomes a Shani. The second one's only a Shani. Not, the, the, the Rashi said that this is explained in Yavama, so we're not going to go into that now. Shlishi, what happens if he ate a Shlishi? So then he becomes a Shani B'Kaidish V'ein Shani B'Truma Now, what is it? The question is, how, how, did, how did he become a, a, a Tome? How did he become Tome? In other words, if, if there, that this talking it's talking about Truma. Now, what does it mean by, by Truma? So the Gemara says it means the Chulun Shenasu Altaras Truma. There is a din that there are people that they, get, they, they were very careful with their Chulun. 
and they they conduct themselves in, in relation to their chulin like with the same chumra of truma. of truma. So he's saying that that, that that what we're talking over here, the chulin should also altaras truma. So altaras truma in altaras akaidish loy. In other words, there's no such thing as altaras akaidish. You, you can only make your chulin like a shlishi, but you can't make your chulin like a ravi. Doesn't the guy so? So Alma we see. Now he said that. What, what does he mean? Ain't shiny betruma. What does he mean by that? He meant chulin, chulin that, that that was altaras truma, so it doesn't go further. So you see from here that Alma kasova shiny. Alma kasova ain't shiny oisa shlishi bechulin. Okay, you have another case. Now the Gemara says, Rebbe what's Rebbe Gaza? The sign of we're going to Rebbe Gaza, Oima, Shloshtam Shove. In other words, there's, there's a common denominator between Chulun uh, and, uh, and and Trumo and, and Kaidish. What, what, is, what is the common denominator? She so says, Harishan. If a reason by Kaidish, a reason should be Kaidish, we should be Chulun, we should be Truma. Each one has a reason. There could be Kaidish that became Tommy from the shadows, there could be Truma, there could be Chulun. So the reason by each one, each one's reason is Mutame Shnayim, Mutame Shnayim, Upoisel Echod, by Kaidish. The Rishain has two more steps of Tuma and another step of Pasal, uh, uh, two more steps of, uh, by Kaidish and another step with Pasals. In other words, the Rishain can make a Shani and a Shlishi and a Ravi by Kaidish. And now, Metama Echod, Upaisal Echod, Betruma. By Truma, the Rishon could be metamid, and other words, it could make a sheni, and it could pass on. It could make a shlishi, and upaisel echod bechulun. And if it touches chulun, it makes it what a sheni, because it, it doesn't go any further. It makes it, it passes. Yeah. In other words, he's saying that each in each one there's a Rishon, and the Rishon could, could could continue. So by, by, by Kaidish, the Rishan could pass could be a too. And he's a Shani and Shlishi, and Paisal the, the, the Kaidish, the Ravi. By Truma, the Rishan could be Metama one and Paisal one, make a Shlishi. And by Khulan, it could make a, it could pass, you know, they can make a Shani, but the Shani is puzzle, doesn't go further. So you see from here, very clear, that there's no there's no, there's no shiny vacuum. Okay. Now, Rabbi Eliezer, what's Rabbi Eliezer? Okay. So let me, let me before we learn this, so let me explain two points. In Eretz Yisrael, when you bake uh, bread, you have to take off challah. So there's a din. And how, how much you have to take off? If I remember correctly, it's one one twenty fourth or one of twenty four loaves. What happens if you have a Esau that became Tommy? So you also have to take off chala. But over there, you could take off. I think it's one forty eight. It depends why it became Tommy, how it became Tommy. But in, in both cases, you have to take take off. Yeah. Normally, you would think that you have to take off challah from the the, the Torah, the Ke'isa, take off a piece, and give it to the Kayin. With the Tama de Ke'isa, you take a smaller piece and give it to the Kayin. So we say no. We try to give the Kayin Tahar Dika even on, on the Tama de Ke'isa. In other words, if, if we have two loaves over here, this is one loaf, 
So I take from this one, the Torah, I take a, a bigger piece and it covers this and this. Now, there is a din, you know, when you go to the matzah bakery, you, you see it every time over there. The, the, when, when, they, when they take the matzah out of the oven, they put it out to cool off a little bit. Then they, they pile up a box and they bring the box up to the front to the packer. Over there by the packer, he takes challah. Why does he take challah, not before? Because the dough, or the tegel that they call, doesn't have a sheer challah. A sheer challah is about three pounds, between three to five pounds. It doesn't have, but when you put all the matzah from the first 18 minutes or the, the fifth 18 minutes, you put yeah. it all into a box, it all becomes one, but you have to cover it. So it's cool. Why do you have to cover it? Because it has to be minamukov. It has to be covered all together. So that whole box one comes up, one one dough. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, huh? Huh? Okay. Good. Oh, but but. but you notice that all on the box they put it all in the box, and the box has to be covered. Everything is under one roof, yeah. so to say. And they call it one. So you take one, as yeah. Now, how are you going to do with Tamadika and Toradika? How is it going to work to make to give the Chala from the Toradika? You can't put them together because they make them tummy. So now look in the Gemara now. Now, now the, uh, and one more thing I want to say. One more thing is important. <clears throat> there is a din by Tumah that you don't need a shear to become tummy. In other, if if you have if you have a, 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 a tummy to shed it, but anything that touches it becomes becomes tummy. You don't need a shear. It's not if if it's less than a certain amount it doesn't become tummy. No, any anything becomes tummy. However. For the tumor to transmit tumor, for the, then you need a share of a beta. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now that you have these uh, these, these uh, basics, it'll be easy to understand what we're going to learn now. Now look at it. So Rabbi Lezer Oimer, he tell us when I tell you all that you can take from the Torah the dough, you can take on the tumor the. So the coin will end up getting Torah the. Now. The kind of, of course, wants better Torah. He can eat it. If it's tummy, he can. He has to sell it already. If you know, it's a different story already. Kate said, "How do you how do you do it?" She says, "Today he says you have two doughs, achas to hide the achas to meya. One is tar and one is tummy. Noitly takes kedei chala meisa shohuma cholasa. He takes." The shear of chala from uh, from the isa, which it wasn't there was, it wasn't separated yet. Venoisen and he puts pochas mikbeya beemsa, and he puts between the two doughs he puts a small piece of dough. Then the small piece of dough is less than a beya. Why does he do it this way? Kedai kedai lito min ha. Mukov, in order to take from from the, all from that, that all all around all together. So what did he do over here? Pashat, the way we're learning it right now, I'm explaining because it's, it'll be easier to understand. So what he did right now was he has the two issues, yeah. By putting the little piece in between and it touches it, it touches this and touches this one, so it's it's connected. Once it's connected, you can take. Yeah, now, but it if it becomes, if it becomes connected, so the 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 little piece became tummy, so and the little right piece it. will be metame this. So we say no, the little piece will not become tummy, but, but it, it can transmit tummy further. So that's 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 she, she has a very simple solution how to right. do it. Yes, Dr. the Gemara, the Chachamim Oisim, the Chachamim say you're not allowed to do that. Why do Chacham say? We'll soon see in the Gemara. Why do Chacham right now? Something again, but the Chacham disagree with this. Now, Vitanya, we like no brisa that you can take kibetzel, that you don't have to take a little piece in between to connect. That's less than a beitzel. You can take even a beitzel. 
Chayre, it's a Chashayla. A Beitza already could become Tomei and could transmit. So why could you do it? So the Gemara says, Sabrua, when they saw this din of Pachas Lugabeitza and Gabeitza, so they, they thought, Sabrua, they thought and say, what are we talking about here? Edi v. Edi, both, both, both people, the one that says Gabeitza, the one that says Gabeitza, one thing they agree on, that what? That Keisa, the Isa Rishayna, that we're talking about uh, Isa, that's the Rishan. The one, the Tumma de Isa is a was a Rishan. And the Chulun at Vulun Lechala, Lav Kachala Dami. Now, what's the Shaila? The Shaila is the same. Chala, that you have to take from it, really belong, it belong, it's a part of Truma, it's a din of Truma. It's one of the uh, 24 Matanas Kahuna that we give to the Kayim. So that we're talking over here, this is this how they thought. They thought that we're talking over here about an Isa that was a Rishan, and the Chulun the, the one from where you're taking it, 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 it does not have a din. It's, it's, it, before, before you take off the Chalu from it, it doesn't have a din of Truma. That means Chulun had Chulun with Chalu. Tevel means that before before you give it off, it's called Tevel. After you give it off, it's called Truma. So, so he says, so look again over here. Sabru, they thought, that Edi, Bidi, 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 Both are talking by uh, the, the Tumma de Gisa was a Risha. And, and they both held that the Chala had Tru and the Chala left the Chala dummy, so it doesn't have a din of Truma. If it doesn't have a din of Truma, what is it? It's Chulun. And so what's the Machaikas? My Rabbi Hoka Mifugit. So they thought that the, maybe the Machaikas is the Masava ain't Shani Isa Shlishi Bechulun, the Masava Shani Isa Shlishi Bechulun. The one who says that, that, that you need to have a, um, a, a, you can even have Kabeya, holds that there's, there's no problem. If this one is, 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 is Tar, and this one is a Rishan, right? And if it can be connected, so what's going to happen? The, the connecting piece will become Tommy, and the connecting piece will transmit to the next piece. If the next piece is, is Chulun, so it can't, it can't, it can't, it's nothing to transmit. But if it's a Beya, it could transmit. So therefore, one says that you should make less in order that it shouldn't transmit, and one holds that you can make even kabei, of course, why? Because there's no there's no there's no shisha. Amar Rav Mori Berei Rav Kahana, no, the Kula Yama, everyone holds ain't sheni oisu shlishi b'chulin. Everyone holds that there's no such thing as a shlishi b'chulin, and. But Masaba Kachala Dami, or Masaba Lev Kachala Dami. One holds that the Tevel Dika, Torah Dika thing, has a din of Chala, even before you take off Chala. So, 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 so it's not a, not, not a question of making a Shlishi, it's a question of making a Shani. That's what he says. The Kuli Alma ain't Shani Isa Shlishi Bechulun. And the Hacha Bechulun at Vulun Lechala Kamifuli. They argue, what, did, what din does it have? Masava Kachala Dami. And if it's Kachala Dami, so therefore it could become a Shlishi. And therefore you should take a yes. half. Um Masava Lev Kachala Dami. The Mela, so it's like Chulun. So Mela, you, you can take a whole, you can take a whole, a whole piece. You boy, Samuel, if you want, I will tell you. The Kuli Alma, everyone holds Chulim Atvulim Lechala, like a Chala Dami. That, that, that Torah, the one, does not, has a din of Chulim. So what's the Machaikas? The Ein Shaini Isa Shlishi B'Chulim. And a Shaini, if it's Chulim, and they hold that, there's no such thing as a, so what are we worried about? Why shouldn't you take a, well, it, it, what, big deal, and if it becomes Tommy's boss, there's no problem. Take, 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 take a Beya. 
Now they argue what Bahaka Bamuta Ligram Tuma Lukulan Shabert is all come here for game. They argue, are you allowed to do it? The Chaman didn't want that you should do it. Why? Because if you're making you, if, a tumma be a dime. You're making tumma be a dime. And, and you, you would, if, you, if you're not careful with this, you wouldn't be careful with, trum, with real trumma. Right. So therefore, in order to make sure you should be careful with real trumma, Don't they said this. you're not allowed to do it. So the mayor, ma sova, mutaligam, tumma, luchul, and shabarit yourself. Therefore, you could take a, a baya, even though it's going to transmit and it'll become a tumma. Or ma sova, also with luchulam, luchulam, shabarit yourself. So you see over here that they all hold that there's no thing of a shlishi by a chulun. Okay, that finishes this, this part of the Mishnah. Now we go back to another part of the Mishnah. We learned in the Mishnah that by by yayim, darash yabakiva. What did he dashim? That b'shor shol yisol min hayam when Ashri shall pay so when the Yidin came out of the yam. How did they say it? Nosna and Nayim lay they decided that the right thing is to say Shira. The case of Amr Shira. And how did they say Shira? So one says, Kegodol Makre as a Halal. Like a Godol that's leading the Shul in Halal. Vehain Aymer Akhrav Roshi Prokum. And they answered, Eftim Roshi Prokum. What does that mean? So he more explains it. Moshe Omar. Ashira Hashem, the Hain Aimrim, Ashira Hashem. In other words, there's songs, there's songs that have a, what do you call that? You, you, you have like a, a stanza, and then there's a, a, a chord that, that, you, yeah, keep, you, keep that you keep repeating. So they kept repeating the words Ashira Hashem. Moshe said, Go, 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 and, and that, that's how it's they used to say halal in those days. They, they used to say halal, halal of the Hashem. Rebbe Lezer ben Oyeimah, Rebbe Lezer ben Oyeimah, Rebbe Lezer ben Oyeimah, Kekotn ha-makri es ha-halal. Now, what happens if in, in a shul, it could happen many times in a, in a Chabad house, the people don't know how to daven, but the, the Chabad rabbi has a little boy, and the little boy, he knows how to daven. So he, he, he directs the people in the hollow. How, do, how does he do it? So he says, he says, Shahu ain't cut the woman. No, I skipped the line over. Kakat na makas ahal, the hain ayman makhav, koma shu ayman. In other words, he says, and they, and they repeat after him. Moshe Om Moshir Hashem, Hey Nam Moshir Hashem. Moshe Om Gigogo, Hey Nam Gigogo. Like like the little boy says to the people, repeat after me. Reb Nachem Yehima, Reb Nachem says, Kesayfa Hapaydes Al Shema, the basic nesses. That means like a, a chazan. We're talking also the same thing. Paitis al Shema is talking that, that, that leads the shul. So, how, how does he lead the shul? Shahu Oimer, Shahu Paiseach, Tchila. He starts Shema, and as soon as he starts Shema, he saw the people all know it. So, the old people say along with him the whole thing. You know, they, they wait for him to start, and once he starts, they all say together the whole thing. Paitis al Shema. What does that mean? Hain Oimer Achel. They answer, when he, as soon as he starts, they say after him. So we have three opinions. So Kumta says like, that according to one opinion, the Eden didn't say anything. They just kept repeating the words of Shir Hashem. According to another opinion, they repeated every, most, every post that Moshe said. According to the third opinion, once Moshe started, so it said. actually says everybody was blessed with Duach HaKadosh, oh, and everybody right. knew to say the whole, the whole yeah. Shira following Moshe. But my come here for you. In in the they argue in touching a word. What does it mean? What, what's the lamer? So Rebbe Lezer ben Oshad Abayi said, "Gilgasav lamer, akol milsa umilsa." 
That means that, that, that on everything they said the same, they said that Ashir Hashem. It was a I forgot that they, they have a word for it and where the choir repeats the it's chasm, what is it? What's it called? I don't know, by singing, by songs. The, re, the refrain? Is it the refrain? No. There's a word for it, okay. V'rav Necham is Sava Vayemu Vayemu Kulu Bahadai Adadi. They all sat together. And what does Lema mean? The Pasach Moshe Bereshit. I, 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 I skipped something over there. That they repeated the first words, Ashir Hashem. And for Rebbe Lezer, when I should have Lema, I call Milsa Milsa. They repeated every Pusik. They all said it together. It's not that they heard it from Baisha. Uh, no, they all composed They all had Ruach HaKadis to compose, to compose the, the whole Shira. Something more honorable. They they decided they decided that, that the right thing is no no listen, listen I want to cut I'm they decided the whole thing was the right thing was to say shira so what did they do the case of the shira how did they do it the little baby that's laying on his mother's lap. The tinnik, yainik v'shdeimai, and the, the tinnik is a little bit bigger already, so he's he's nursing. Shero kima shero as a shchina. As soon as they saw the shchina, and they knew the shchina like we went before, read the ma'aser that they b'shdo would uh, when they were given birth and they and they they b'shdo would uh, feed them and everything and, and we went there with the so kulam so oila higbiat sabare the little oila. Raised his was was laying on the mother's lap, so he raised raised his neck. Vitinik shomat dad meimay, and the tinik let go of the 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 breast of of the mother. Ve'amru zekeli v'avayil. They recognized them. Zekeli v'avayil. Shenema mipi aygum v'yankin yisarat the eyes. That the Gemara Hayer Amei Am Rabbi would say minayin. Not only the ones that were born, but even the embryos that were in the, in the mother's uh, stomach, they also said Shira. Shenema, the Makhelis, Bochu, Elakim, Hashem, Mimkur Yisro. Mimkur Yisro means from the Mokka, that those are still in the Mokka of, of their mother. So the Gemara says in parentheses an interesting thing. In fact, the Gemara of Hogar Chazi. You can't see when you're there. How did they see? So the Gemara, Oma Rabbi Tantrum. Keres. Nasal Hamke Brachia Hameira. That the mother's stomach became like a glass, like a, a, a clear glass. Vero, and they saw through it, and they so were able to able see. To say it. Yeah. So the, now the Gemara said in the Mishnah, at the end of the Mishnah said, and a question about who was Eiv or what was Eiv. So what, what was it? So, so one said, only from Ava, and the other one said from Yira. So the Gemara and 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 the Gemara said it, it, the basis it was a pasuk uh, uh, that even if it does something loya yacho. The question was, what is me? I, I will, I will he- pray to him. I will hope to him. So the Gemara, the Lord say, well, if something's wrong with this machaikas. You, you, you're saying, is it with an aleph or with a vav? Open up a cipher and see says. how it's spelled. But the Gemara, the Lord say, hi loy, evil lamed aleph. It's loy, which means no. Ksiv. Then is Laihu and Ibn Ahmed Vav Ksiv Laihu. So the Gemara says, Vachol Hecha, the Ksiv Bagamad Aleph Laihu. In every place, let's say we open talk at the Sefer. But now Ryan and it says, Ariel, with an Aleph. That doesn't mean that, that it means no. 
אלא מעטה, השתתן פוסק בכל צרוסם לא יצא. תקציב בלמד א', לא יצא ללמד א', הוכי נמי דלאו, you say that the Abishah doesn't care about the tzodas that the Yidin have, it doesn't bother him. V'chit heima hachi nami, and if you want to say, yeah, he doesn't care about them. V'chit heima hachi nami, and if you want to say, yeah, he doesn't care about them. That the if he didn't care about why does he help them? Ela, mashma hachi, or mashma hachi, you can touch it, regardless the way, you can touch it in two ways, it can mean two ways. Tanya Rabbeya Oymer, Nema Yerei Lekim Be'iv, Venema Yerei Lekim Be'avrom. Ma Yerei Lekim O'Omer Be'avrom? Me'avo, because the Rebish has said that Avrom O'yavi. Al Av Yerei Lekim O'Omer Be'iv, Me'avo. So the mother of Avrom, Gupa Minolan, how do we know Avrom was Avo? Because the state said Avrom O'yavi. The Rebish has said that you are the children of Avrom. Who, who love me? Is that the Gemara? My Ika ben Oysim Abba Oysim Yira. Is that the Gemara? Ika, Laha the Tanya. If Shimma ben Allah's Oymer, God of Oysim Abba Yosa ben Oysim Yira. Shazer Tolu Elov Dor. The Zer Tolu Alpayim Dor. That the Schar for one that does my Abba. Less for a thousand dollars, and I, I, I'm sorry for for, for a thousand dollars. Less for, for two thousand dollars, and this less for a thousand dollars. How do we know? Because Ksiv Hakol La Lafim the Ayavai Ushaymei Mitzvaisa, or Ksiv Hasum Ushaymei Mitzvaisa the Elav Dor. So the Hasan Amik Ksiv the Ayavav Ushaymei Mitzvaisa. So how you saying? So why are you saying that that's Yira? Over there is also state of so it comes out that there's a stira. And for the Gemara, hi with the Samachai, for hi with the Samachai. Over here, if you look in the Pasuk, by the Lofim, state of Oyavai, state right away the Oyavai, and by Shemim, by the other one said the Oyavai, who is Shemim is voice of. So, Right, by the first one, together with Oyevay, Shet Alpayim. And over here, there's another word in between. So therefore, the, the, we know that one is Abba, one is Yira. Satya Gemara, Hani Trey Talmidei, the Havi, Yosri, Kame, the Rava. There were two Talmidim in the Rava's Yeshiva. Chad Oma, Lei. One told the story that Ekroi Bechal Moi, I had a dream. What did I dream? I dreamt a Pasuk. Marav Tufcha Asher Tzafant Eloi Echa And Bechal Doma Akrim Bechal Moi, I had a dream, a Pasuk V'yismecho Bechal Kuchaisrei Boch L'oilem Yiru V'yalsu Boch Oye V'yishmecho So when each one thought so And they asked him to, to interpret the meaning of the dream He said very simple, I'm a little Tavayu Rabbonin Sadiq Igemure You're both Great tzaddikim that as a chol mtsachazach zachem baich that is that tzaddikim of a at ma me avo umam me yira but one tzaddik so that's a one has this dream one has this dream so you're both tzaddikim but uh, it, it's a different avodas Hashem if 